Hey y'all, it's your girl Chastity J and I'm back with a quick message from God. Um, God reminded me how we're always in our pruning season and he gave me the example of when you're in relationships. So, you know, when you're dating, all of those experiences from dating is just preparing you for your marriage, preparing you for your kingdom spouse. You learn different things. You learn about yourself. You learn how to set boundaries. You learn about uh, maybe things that didn't work. You uh, heal from those past situations and, you know, just learn different things that will be beneficial in your marriage. So just be mindful. Keep that in mind. I was like, okay, Jesus, like, you're right, you know. We have this season of dating and um, courting because it is preparing you for your kingdom spouse. You're learning about yourself. You're learning uh, your likes, your wants, your needs, how to be loved. Uh, you're learning what your love languages are and how you would like to be appreciated. And that's what your spouse is learning too when they're in those dating uh, seasons because they're as they're dating, they're like, okay, I didn't like the way that that person talked to me. So I'm going to make sure I set some boundaries. I didn't like the way that that person poured into me or they didn't pour into me enough. And I realized I need to be poured into to feel appreciated and loved. So you are, your dating season is literally a pruning season. Every time you're dating someone, or courting someone, it is to prepare you for your marriage season, prepare you for your kingdom spouse. So this is just um, a reminder, you know, be grateful for those seasons, even if they were rough, even if they were, uh, you know, you had your heart broken. I've had my heart broken a couple times, but I was always able to go and appreciate God for those experiences and appreciate God because I learned a lot. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about what I do want or what kind of husband um and the qualities I want in my husband. Um, I learned what my love languages were and they changed over time. Like I realized, oh, maybe, you know, that's not a love language of mine. I thought that was, I thought that's how I wanted to be uh, appreciated. But once that person was doing it, I still felt empty or I still felt alone. So I still didn't feel appreciated. But, you know, embrace your dating season. This is for everyone that is still single like myself and you're dating. You're dating and uh, courting people. Embrace it and enjoy the experience and, you know, just be grateful and thank God for those experiences, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I thank God all the time for my past when I was dating and because I learned a lot. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about how to pour into my husband, how to uplift my husband, how to be a listening ear to my husband, how to... uh give my husband a safe space because I also learned um, while interning with my therapist, we would have these men groups and it was like some of her male clients and it was just a safe space for them to come and be vulnerable. And we would really just sit in and just be, you know, a listening ear. And as we would intervene um, every now and then, but it was just a space for them to all talk to each other and pour into each other. And I learned so much when it comes to dating. I'm able to give men these days so much grace, you know, not too much where they going to play me, but I learned to give men so much grace because I got to be a basically like a fly on the wall and just listen to these men and men would uh every every single man and it would be like 10 men in there every single one of them would say I don't feel safe in my relationship I don't feel safe where I can be vulnerable my wife or my girlfriend comes home and they just talk about their day they just they go 10 miles an hour I mean 100 miles an hour just talking about them 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 and I was like whoop child you right because I used to do that in my old relationship <laughs> And they would say, you know, I don't feel safe or I don't feel like I could be vulnerable with my spouse because it's all about her. Like she wants to vent and I can't just be, um, 
I can't just be emotional with her or I can't just tell her if I did have a horrible day because she's telling me about her bad day and wants me to just pour into her. But what about me? And I was like, man, I like I truly enjoyed um the transparency, the vulnerability of these men. And I learned so much. I learned how to pour into a man, learn how to show that I'm there for that man, how you could be, it is a safe space. You can be vulnerable. You can be transparent. You, some days you may not be strong and that's fine. I'll be there to be strong or help pick you up. You are the head and I'm the neck. So I'm there to support you no matter what no matter what season you're in so I was just like okay um I'm loving I'm loving the experience that I am getting and the support um supporting these men so it has definitely prepared me um and just learn a lot about when I do you know get into that dating or um get you know, when God brings me my kingdom spouse, I will be prepared. So definitely grateful, um, grateful and appreciative. And I'm able to give me and more grace and understand them a lot more. Um, and yeah, you know, so just be mindful that those seasons that God have us in, it's just a preparation season. It's preparing you for your kingdom spouse. It's preparing you for your marriage. Um, you know, you're able to use those experiences and be like, oh, I remember when I went through something similar like this and how I maybe feel or how I maybe made my, um, my partner feel, um, vice versa, you know, and I learned some things. So now I'm able to recognize that within my marriage and be able to make that change or, you know, do some things to differently so that I don't have to go back into that same situation and relive the past. So just be mindful, y'all. This is just, um, you know, some reminders and encouragement. God was like, yeah, your dating season, that was all just preparation for your marriage. Like I said before, you're always in a preparation and pruning season. So take this message back to God um, and just get confirmation from him if this was something you needed to hear and pray about it before you just take this message for yourself. But God is preparing us because a lot of us are in our marriage season and he's just saying get ready you know all of those old experiences were just preparation for your marriage season it was just getting you ready and uh teaching you some things so that you can have that healthy marriage and y'all need to renounce the spirit of fear the spirit of uh divorce the spirit of all men ain't ish or all women are gold diggers y'all need to come out of agreement with that and renounce those things because you're going going into your dating or your marriage season with that type of mindset. And that ain't nothing but the enemy because I claim it every day. I will. I am in a healthy marriage. I speak as if I'm already there. I am in a healthy marriage. I I will not experience divorce or, um, you know, all these different things. So, just take this message back to God as always. Thank you to all of my subscribers and supporters. I love you guys. God love y'all. Continue trusting God and I hope y'all have a good one.